Hello, everybody, wherever you may be, from coast to coast and sea to shining sea, welcome back to Ham Radio Live, a show about radio for people who love radio. Happy New Year to you around the world. Today, we'll talk about the Ham Radio Contest and special event news and the MFJ 464, a device that helps you send and receive Morse code. From the four corners of the world, wherever you may be, welcome to Ham Radio Live. wherever you may be. Thank you for tuning in and thanks for spending the day with me. Let's say we rev this thing up and say, away we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Shackton, Oregon. A very happy New Year to you, wherever you may be. I know it's New Year's Eve for a lot of people, us included here in Oregon. Thank you for the thumbs up as well. That's very kind of you. You know, the show is designed to help people not only get into ham radio, but also those that love radio talk about it. That's what the whole passion of this channel is. And I'm so grateful you come. Thank you for being part of the show. If you'd like to get into ham radio, there are lots of ways to do so. But the easiest way is to contact a national radio club that can help you find a local radio club near you. Then you get to know that club. They'll help you get licensed and help you get on the air. Try someone like the Radio Amateurs of Canada. They can be found at www.rac.ca. Hit the contact us bar. Let them know where you're located. They'll find a radio club near you and help you get on the air. If you'd like to email the show, we'd love to talk with you. Please hit me up at CQ, hamradiolive at gmail.com. We're changing the one for WRMI. That's actually now WRMI, CQ calling at gmail.com. So there you go. Question of the day. What's the most memorable contact or reception, you know, if you're in shortwave or medium wave DX, of 2021? So what was your most memorable contact of the last 12 months? Love to hear your comments. Before we get going, let's get you on the show and say hello because, you know, that's part of the reason we come and that's the best part of the show, right? First one in Martin, all the way from Holland. We thank you for coming, my friend. Thank you. Martin, welcome. Pop Echo 9, Tango India Golf. Good to see you. Yep. Little ACDC today. That'd be fun, you know, start out with, Something fun that was just neat to play. You know, it's such a great song. You know, what an Australian band, gee. They are so good. They have more songs that I like than I can think of a lot of, you know, producers of music than I can think of for sure. Next in, my goodness. Hello there. Locostel136.org. That's a first timer. Whiskey Papa 4. Juliet Lima Zulu. These glasses are terrible. <laughs> they are. I tried to clean them like four times. Welcome to the show. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming today. It's an honor to have you. Nikolai is here all the way from Romania. Happy New Year, Nikolai. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, buddy. Andy Cowley, welcome. Happy New Year to you, too. Two Echo Zero. Romeo Echo Echo is here. Colin is back. Hi, Colin. Mike Mike Zero. Oscar Papa X-Ray. Great YouTube content, and he's going to come to the show soon, talk to you about how to build antennas. So we're grateful he's coming as well. Thank you for being here. David Lurcia, you made my day, David. Happy New Year to you and us in, way down in Argentina. Wow. Happy New Year. Wow. You know, it's interesting. We watch this YouTube stream sometimes. It helps to relax my wife after work. It's this stream from different various YouTube, various um uh, live streams from all over the world. Then they just play like a kind of like a slideshow, but it's neat because it has the world map up top and it shows where they're at in the world. And there's one from Argentina. It's beautiful. It really is. David, love to visit your country someday. Mark Taylor. Hi, Mark. A very happy almost new year to you, Mike Seven, Echo Sierra Sierra. Welcome to the show. Again, today's question What's your most memorable contact or reception that you made on radio in 20? 21. We would love to have you join in. It's all about you today, and I'm grateful you're here. We're also going to talk today about the MFJ 464. It's a neat little box, it really is. It helps you to read and send Morse code. Now, what it does is on the back of it, 
there's a special jack where you plug in a keyboard. It makes it simple. So you receive the Morse code off of your radio. It'll print it out on the screen. And then you simply take your keyboard and you type off the answers. It's a brilliant device. We're going to have somebody from the channel, Tom from Bulgaria now, showing us how it works. So I'm excited that he's here. Welcome. Also, this is a first timer. My goodness, I'm honored that you're here. Happy New Year to you. This is Khaled 17. Happy New Year 2022 for all. Khaled, his call sign is 9 Kilo 2 Golf Romeo. What an honor. Seriously, welcome. Happy New Year to you. Khaled, is, Khaled is, seriously, I'm, thanks, Khaled. I don't want to say it wrong. Khaled. Thank you for coming. It's my honor and privilege to meet you. Thank you so, so much. Um, right now, Colin says, make a little Moxon update video right now, getting close to being finished. Make sure and catch that on his YouTube video. He's got some good stuff. Don't forget, tonight, okay, is the second broadcast, and it is a broadcast. It's not, it's not for making QSOs. From WI2 X-Ray Lima, Quebec, okay? Now, this is being done to honor Reginald Vezden's commemorative transmission. Brian Justice, uh, sorry, Justin, Whiskey Alpha 1, Zulu Mike Sierra is the licensee. He's going to transmit for 24 hours, starting at 20 UTC on today. So 31st of December on 486 kilohertz AM. All right. Try and catch the broadcast. It's going to be playing a vi two violin pieces that Vezden claimed to have played uh, you know, on one day, the very first transmissions of voice from his Brant Rock, Massachusetts radio lab site. So it's in commemoration of Reginald Vesden. So if you'd like to de-exit, whether you're on, you know, shortwave or you like to do ham stuff, 486 kilohertz AM, it's going on right now. Okay. Don't leave the show, but that's what's going on. Yes. Coming to the show, Sean Kutzko, Kilo X-Ray, 9 X-Ray. He's going to talk to us about working ham radio satellites. Looking very much forward to him joining us on September. I'm sorry, sorry, on <laughs> September, wow, January 8th at 20 UTC. Man, this year has just flown by, hasn't it? Then Colin, Mike, Mike Zero, Oscar Papa X-Ray is going to talk to us about building great antennas January 15th at 20 UTC. Again, that's going to be at uh, 8 p.m. in London, so please join us. Then Bill Gidard Desjardins. William Desjardins is an amazing man. His call sign, Whiskey One Zulu Yankee. Colin yesterday talked about his QRZ page. Here's a look at it. Talks about phase verticals in saltwater marsh. So Bill's going to talk to us about building your own. You don't need a saltwater marsh, but, you know, he'll show you how to build them. And they truly are very directional. Seriously, a great way to get a directional antenna on a budget. January 22nd at 20 UTC. Please join us and meet William Desjardins, Whiskey One Zulu Yankee. Then February 5th, 20 UTC, Brad Humphreys, Alpha Echo 4, Victor Juliet is going to talk to us about working digital modes like FT8. Very excited for Brad to join us. Thank you to him for doing that. He's got a great YouTube channel too. Also, on the 12th of February, meet Charlie from Red Summit RF. Going to tell us about great ways you can work portable in 2022. Charlie's call sign November Juliet 7. Sorry, November Juliet 7 Victor. Yeah, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Also, don't forget, final WMI broadcast this week is coming up here at 2115 to Europe. It's on 7780 kilohertz. Try and catch the show. It was a fun one to do, and I hope that you can take part of it. Today's question, what's your most memorable contact of 2021? Look back. Think about your call blog, right? You know, you think about the things you accomplished in ham radio back in the last 12 months in 2021. We had COVID. We had a rise in ham radio licensees all throughout the UK. And we had a lot of time to be with our radio. What was your most memorable contact? Mine personally was to the Netherlands. It really was. It wasn't the easiest by far. And that's probably why it's my most memorable. My Bandwidth was at 1.8, remember to this day, 1.8 kilohertz. My notch was literally way out to try and clear out some QRM from another station. And it was a very weak signal. It was like an S0, hard to hear, but could hear enough of it. And he could hear enough of me to make the call. It took 20 minutes to make it to the Netherlands. Hard to make from the West Coast. So that was mine. I'll just share it with you up front. All right, let's catch up with you and see what your comments are in terms of this question. 
So we've got uh, my uh, Colin DX Killer. Okay, so he's talking about his antenna there. All right, David in Argentina, best QSO perhaps Lima Union Eight Alpha Echo Union Frigate Liberty during navigation. You can see some pics on his QRZ page. Take a look at that, David. That's great stuff. If you want David's call sign, it's right here. It's Lima Whiskey for Delta Alpha Foxtrot. David, thank you for sharing. It's a good comment. Yeah, those are, we always remember some special contacts, right? Mine was the Netherlands. Yours was that. It's pretty sweet. Martin in Holland. Nice 2021 contact was Victor Kilo 3 Golf Kilo on 12 meters. <laughs> he says ACDC land. That's funny. It's true. Well, that's what we started the show with, right? Andy Kelly, South Africa on six meters. Wow. Ooh. That's pretty good, man. That's some heavy lifting now, Andy. Nice. That's great. Six meters. Wow. Mike is joining us from New York City. Hello. Make me to a live show. Welcome. It's good to see you. We've been watching on that live stream, you know, around the world. New York City and Times Square, them building up for the big, you know, shindig they do on New Year's Eve. By the way, today, the sign-off is really special, and it is New Year's Eve related. Kel in Norway told me that this one sign-off was only played on New Year's Eve. We're going to play that today at the end of the show. I hope you like it. Welcome to Aaron from Wales, Mike Whiskey, 7 Oscar Foxtrot Sierra. His memorable contact of 2021 was to Japan on 17 meters with six watts for him. Now that's UK to six meter, oh, sorry, UK to Japan on only six watts. Wow. Wow. That's fantastic, Aaron. That really is. And that shows to show people, you don't have to use a ton of power to make calls. That's a great call. Truly great call. David Barwick, hello. Happy New Year, David. I don't remember you coming. First time. No, now I do. His call sign, 2 Echo Zero Bravo Mike. No, 2 Echo Zero Oscar Bravo Mike. Sorry, David. My glasses are just bad. Sorry, Dave. Not your fault. It's mine. I go to the other glasses, but the lens is missing over here. <laughs> Wouldn't make it good. David, uh, sorry, Darren, Happy New Year to you. Thank you for joining the show today. It's an honor to have you. Berg's Guard. Hello, Berg's. Welcome, my friend. Happy New Year. The countdown has started. Three and a half hours left. Berg's is in Sweden, and it's an honor to have you. Thank you. You know, Berg's, we found a... <laughs> I keep talking about this weird YouTube, you know, thing that's about live cams. There's this one from Santa Claus Village in North Sweden. It's right on the Arctic Circle. It's literally, you go there, and you step over the Arctic Circle. You get, like, a certificate. <laughs> I'd like to do it because it's weird, but I think it's fun. What a great thing. It really has been. Let's see. Colin in the UK, remember Bond slash Angus and Malcolm were Scottish, so we have a small claim to ACDC. Very small. Very small. You might have an Australian rebellion on that one, Colin. Yeah, pretty popular band. Scott, afternoon to you in Colorado. Thanks for joining us. Khalid says, Happy New Year 2022 for all. Thank you very much. Again, what a joy it is to have him. His call sign, 9 Kilo 2 Golf Romeo. Khalid, thank you for being here and a very happy New Year to you. David says, Perhaps some of the de expeditions in Africa, which were new countries for me, you know, for example, and that's true. And we're going to talk about some of those de expeditions because some are on right now. So I hope you like it. Berg says, 50 kilometers from me is Santa Claus Village. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Andy New has joined us all the way from the UK. Andy, welcome. Happy New Year to you. His call sign, Mike Alpha 3007 SWL. Very happy New Year to you, Andy. Thank you. The weather today, powered by ICOM. ICOM for the love of ham and shortwave radio. See those uh, sunspots there at 4 o'clock, sorry, at uh, like 2 o'clock. Remember yesterday, they were quite a bit more. You could see more of them, but now they're rotating away. Okay, that, that's okay. Things are going to get okay. The backside of the sun, there are more sunspots coming, so we have some good news coming our way next week. Here is your coronal hole map. We don't have anything coming that's 
imminent, that's hurting us. We have had some solar flares, though. We almost had an M1 today. Here is your K-index. As you, as you can tell, the K-index is running around K2 right now, but it's been up and down. You remember K0, K1 is very quiet, and you get to K2, it's quiet. So noise floors are good, not too much static on the bands. Current conditions out of Boulder, SFI 103, solar number 77. Your index is 8, K is 1, BZ latitude positive 3.7, which is great. Your solar wind, 428.3 kilometers per second. EME degree now is fair for moon bouncers, and you can see the various HF conditions. MUFs around the world, this is current. Alaska, 12.53. Boulder, no report right now. Chickamauga, Peru is at 27.66. Ascension Island, 32.68. Hermanus, South Africa, 12.09. Athens, Greece, 10.84. Darwin, Australia, getting ready to wake up. Look at that SF. Look at that MUF there. 27.6 Nive Island at 17.95 the Kilo Charlie 2 golf map and this really il illustrates a lot excuse me if I didn't get a drink I wouldn't be talking right now for sure people in North America and the West Coast are on about 19 megahertz throughout most of North America though you're running anywhere from 23 to 28 megahertz you head over to South America 19 in Northern Brazil 32 as you head south Argentina, right about 30 megs right now. So they're in great shape. People in Europe, you're pretty much for the most part on 40 meters throughout Europe and all the way to the Far East in Japan. If you go into Australia, that's where it gets kind of interesting. The Northern Territories there, you get way up at the very top, you know, heading towards New Guinea, 24 megahertz up there, 17 as you travel the Gold Coast. And then as you head south towards Melbourne, you're on 10 megahertz. However, better conditions are coming. Your ham and shortwave forecast for today, powered by come for the love of ham radio. Daytime ham radio bands for voice today, 20, 17, 15, 12, and some possible 10 meter openings in the northern hemisphere. Equatorial latitudes, you'll have 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10. That'll go for the south and, and the mid latitudes. Great MUFs there. You also have some good ski, CB skip, both in the mid and southern latitudes. Northern hemisphere, there'll be some brief openings, but they won't last long. Nighttime handband openings, and this is where it gets a little bit different. So, you know, wherever you're at in the world, take a good listen here. The nighttime handband openings will be 160, 80, 75, 60, 40, 30. Your best DX in the north will be on 40 and 80 meters, okay? But 20 and 17 will work great for your gray line. If you're in the mid and southern latitudes, because we have such a high maximum usable frequency out there right now, your best DX really is going to be on 20 meters, and it's going to run definitely a couple hours after sunset. So make the most out of it on 20 meters. You'll make some good long DX calls. Short wave bands today during the daytime, 31, 25, 22, and 19 meters. Your short wave nighttime bands, 120, 90, 75, 60, 49, 41, 31, 25, 22, and 100% chance of 19 meters in the mid and southern latitudes for a couple hours after sunset. Then your signals will fade away. Great time to DX 19 if you're in the southern hemisphere. All right, let's catch up with your comments. Before we get into a new topic about the MHJ-464, if you don't know how to do CW, you know, Morse code, you can do it with the 464. Now, it doesn't really help teach you, you know, unless you learn by ear and you kind of realize what, you know, a C and an O and a number five and all that is. But with time, it can help you. But in the meantime, it's great to be able to receive and send. You could do it with the 464. It's pretty cool. All right. Let me catch up. Hopefully not missing any comments here while we, while we have you. Aaron says, got a pre-order sorted out today. A new ICOM 7300, a Ciro Mazzoni baby loop. Wow. And a Hustler B, sorry, 6B TV. So looking forward to the next couple of weeks and hopefully more radio time. Man, tell me how you like the Ciro Mazzoni. Seriously. You'd be the first person I know that has one. So I'd be interested to know, Aaron, okay? Will Myers has joined us from the state of Wisconsin. Happy New Year to you, my friend. His call sign, Kilo Alpha 8 Golf India Mike. Scott has joined us from the north side of the tracks in Boston, New York. North Boston, New York. North Boston. He said, my mother told me I would have days like these, but she never told me I would have 365 of them in a row. 
Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, mate. Good to see you. Oh, my goodness. Welcome back. Check it out. Kilo Echo 6 Delta Oscar Alpha. Dave, I think, right? i got to remember, man, it's been a while, so please forgive me. Happy New Year to you, and thank you for checking in. It means a lot to hear from you. We made a QSO once on this show. I remember a long time ago, and I had a very, very nice visit with you. Thank you very, very much, and a very happy New Year to you and your family as well. Thanks for coming. Rod Clare joins us from the state of Oregon. Happy New Year. Woohoo! The boss finally let me order the 9700. <laughs> Everyone's out of stock. And it won't be here until late February, but it's on order. Congratulations, Rod. Fantastic transceiver. Fantastic. Scott says, major wildfires in the Boulder, Colorado area. Historic high winds gust up to 115 miles per hour. Wow. Scott, sorry to hear that. Been through it. Not fun. My prayers with you and the folks there in Colorado. That's terrible. Wow. Wow. All right. So let's get into this. I would like to say, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Sorry, I didn't... You know, you hate to say a name, and then it's the wrong name, and you're going, uh, thanks for coming, Steve. Happy New Year to you and your family, okay? All right, let's talk about the contest calendar. It's really small. Contest, the exhibition, shortwave stuff. Here we go. ARL Kids Day is coming up January 1st. It's only for, you know, a few hours, six hours in length. It's on side bed, 80, 40, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10, two-meter repeaters as well. Notice 17 is included here. That's not normal because 17, you're not supposed to do contesting on, but it is listed here. If you'd like more information, you can find the rules at uh, arl.org slash kids-day. So, interesting that 17 was there. I thought I'd share that with you. Original QRP contest, 1500 Zulu on January 1st to 1500 Zulu January 2nd. It's worldwide, both Morse code and SSB, 80, 40, 20 meters. It's going to be maximum operating hours of 15 hours total. Okay, your power, very low power, one watt. Remember, this is a QRP contest. For people who are not in ham radio, QRP means low power. So you're going to be under 10 watts typically. So very low power, one watt. QRP is five, maximum power, 20 watts. That's a really neat thing. If you want more information on this, find this on the contest calendar. Just search on your favorite, you know, internet engine for seven, you know, ham radio contest calendar. It will pop up. Bigger, old, and new contest. Love the name. 900 Zulu to 2359 Zulu today, okay? It's SSB, 80 and 40 meters. And it's kind of fun, right? It's single op and multi op. And you give your signal report plus your operator age. It's pretty special stuff. Right now, a couple of special events going on. American Revolution Battle of Princeton is going on January 1st through January 9th. Starts on the 1st, right at midnight. Goes through 2359 on January 9th. The call sign to look for, this is a special event station in Ham Radio, Whiskey 2 Papa. Remember, Whiskey 2 Papa. Papa. They're planning to be on 40 meters at 14.250, you know, plus or minus. Look for them. See if you can make the call. Then on January 2nd through the 31st, the 16th annual straight key month goes on, you know, for, you know, your special events. Kilo 3 Yankee slant 0 dash 9. So it's going to be Kilo 3 Yankee 0 through 9, okay, plus maybe some more numbers worldwide. SKCC straight key century club. And you can see the frequencies on 80, 3.550 megahertz, 7.055 megahertz on 40, 14.050 on 20, and on 15 meters, 21.050. So that's going to be for people who like to work some Morse code. And there's a list of the contests this weekend. Not a ton of them. You know, it's it's you know it's that time of year. Here are the special event stations, the expeditions that have been set up around the world. Honduras runs through today. Hotel Romeo 5. It's going to be CWSSB, digital operations. And they plan now to continue through April 5th of 2022. So again, look for the the you know, the call Hotel Romeo 5, okay? And it'll be Hotel Romeo 5 slant Fox 2 Juliet Delta, right? Osagawara is still going on. It's being done by Juliet Golf 7, Papa Sierra Juliet, and it's Island on the Air Asia 31, 80 to 10 meters CW sideband ready. You can QSL via J Juliet 6, 7, Papa Juliet, sorry, Sierra Juliet. So 
Juliet Golf 7, Papa Sierra Juliet. Again, look for the call sign that's out there. It will be Juliet Delta 1, Bravo Mike Hotel. Maldive Island, that's a good one. 40 to 20 meter dipole they're using. 8 Quebec 7, Romeo India. It's a call sign to look for going through January 3rd. Also through the 3rd, the Maldives is going on. 8 Quebec 7, Tango Romeo. 8 Quebec 7, Tango Romeo. Okay, this is going to be a fun one. 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10. SSB, FT8 at 20 watts. Senegal, final one. Six, Whiskey 7. It's being done by Fox 6, Hotel Mike Juliet. They'll be running 40 to 10 meters CW SSB using a dipole, just holiday style operation. So there is your special event contest, the expedition calendar. All right, let me catch up with your thoughts, and then we'll go into the MFJ 464. John Hummel Newell has joined us from Saskatchewan, Victor Echo 5, Juliet Hotel, November. Happy New Year to you, my friend. For those now that understand why the applause is played sometimes, that's the reason there. Okay, Gary Strong, hi, Las Vegas, Nevada, the city of lights, welcome. He's here from Las Vegas, Whiskey 9, Papa Papa Yankee. Welcome, Gary. Nice to see you. My brother Bob, here courtesy of WIFI. Thank you very much for coming. And Rod Clare, the Willamette Valley Mesh Network reached the goal of 200 plus nodes yesterday, currently at 204 nodes. Check it out online. He's giving you the Mesh Network link. So if you want to join that, be a part of that, you can. Let's get into a couple trivia questions. Before we get into the segment on the MFJ 464, first trivia question today. A technician, so this would be a technician class in the U.S., may participate in the MARS, which is the Military Affiliate Radio System Program. Okay? Is that true or false? A is true. B is false. Please reach me out with A or B. Let me know what your answer is, and we will let you know who gets it right. Again, a technician class operator may participate in the MARS program. Okay? A is true, B is false. All right, that's it. Mars is a very, very special program. Been around a long time. Military Auxiliary Radio System. And, and it, it's not now all the military anymore. It was founded back in November of 1925 to provide contingency communication support for the United States Department of Defense and military services. It was at one time, all of the services, Army, Navy, Marines, and Air Force were in it. Now, the Air Force is pretty much the only one that's left, but there you go. So here's your question again. Is it true or false a technician class licensee can participate in Mars? All right, let's find out. First one, Andy Cowley. A, he's two Echo Zero, Romeo Echo Echo, and he got it correct. Well done. Nice job, Andy. Nice job. Yep, it is true. If you're a technician, you can participate in Mars. Also, want to welcome Cameron, first-timer, him radio dude, sent me. Oh, my gosh. Is that right? Seriously? Did he re- That's awesome to me. Thank you, Cameron, for joining. His call sign, 9 kilo, sorry, 9, sorry, man, my glasses are really bad today. I'm very sorry. November 9 kilo, Oscar Papa. We're just going to do with all these spotty glasses that are scratched up too much. I'm sorry, Cameron. Welcome to the show. It's really an honor to have you, so thank you for coming. Also, people that got this trivia question right, by the way. Aaron in Wales got A as well. So as well, look at this. Holy crud. Plasma Storm 73, Kilo Yankee 4, India Foxtrot. Ham Radio Dude sent me two. Isn't that nice? My goodness, my day has just been made. Thank you for coming. Seriously, Kilo Yankee 4, India Fox. For people that don't know, okay, Ham Radio Dude has his own channel here on YouTube. He's really talented, and he shows a lot of stuff. He's very, very energetic, has a lot of knowledge. If you haven't followed his channel, please subscribe. Ham Radio Dude. That's how it is on YouTube. Just find his channel and subscribe. You'll be glad you did. There's Bob with new glasses. God bless you, sir. Whoa, now we can see. (laughs) Wow. Bob to the rescue. That was awesome. Thank you, Bob. All right. So, <laughs> Liberty Cave, Whiskey, Sierra 7, Papa Bravos. This is all. 
Ham Radio Dude sent him too. That's great. Wow, this is the greatest thing. Liberty Cave and Lionel Kilo Juliet 7 Oscar Foxtrot Hotel. Wow. Papa Delta 5, Delta Romeo Echo, again from Ham Radio Dude. Man, this is just such a special day. Thank you. You've made my day. Seriously, I do this for fun. I do this to help people. And wow, this is really an honor to me. So thank you guys for coming. I, I sincerely do mean that. Scott in North Boston, New York, also had it right with A, Liberty K. So I hit like and subscribe. Bless you. Thank you for doing that. Whiskey Sierra 7, Papa Bravo. Thank you so much for doing that. <laughs> Look, it's like a flood of people. I am so honored. Thank you, Dan. Welcome, Dan. Mike Zero, India Delta Whiskey, Ham Radio Dude sent me. This is kind of becoming a little bit of a pattern here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Hey, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you all. Whiskey Juliet for, sorry, Whiskey for Juliet Mike Charlie. Happy New Year to you too. Thank you for coming. As well as Kilo 9, that would be Kilo 9, Kilo Mike Victor, that can unlucky ham. Stop it. You've got to be lucky because you're a ham, doggone it. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I have a feeling I know where you came from, too. Mike had B. Eric, thank you. Another message from Ham Radio, dude. Man, oh, man, what a day. This call sign, Alpha Kilo 6 Yankee. Welcome, Eric. Thank you for being here. I sincerely mean that. Andy New had A. Steve is here. Hello, Steve. November 4, Sierra Foxtrot Charlie. Ham Radio, dude, sent him, too. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is great. Plasma Storm, Kilo Yankee for India Foxtrot had uh, B. Andy Cowley, welcome and everybody. And uh, we have, um, and yeah, I got the idea. It came from Ham Radio Dude. This is so nice. Kilo 9, Kilo Mike Victor. This just says it made my day. And dude, you, man, I got to tell you something. Thank you so much for what you've done. This has just totally made my New Year's Eve. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well. Thank you. Again, he's got great content on YouTube. He works hard. If you have an opportunity, please check what he has. Ignore my less than hair and just please subscribe to what he does because he puts a lot of time in here. Okay. Let's try and get to everybody. Let's see. T Ray, no <laughs> Kilo India, five Quebec Yankee, Yankee. This is amazing. Thank you for coming. This is just totally amazing to me. Also, welcome to Martin, all the way in Great Britain, Golf 7, Foxtrot, Tango, Mike. Thank you. Sorry, Tango, November. Thank you for coming. <sighs> wow. This is just amazing. Thank you, guys. Truly, you've made my day. You really have. John Hummel Newell. Hey, so the coffee and radio guys are doing a seven-hour FT8 off. <laughs> Probably so. My goodness. Scott, sakes alive for being bombarded by friends of Ham Radio, dude. And I'm grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you. And that's nice. Thank you. So I'm just happy to spread the love. You know, how I look at YouTube, there are so many people who are gifted in various areas of YouTube. And they got great work and they work really hard to do what they do. For people who don't do YouTube, they don't understand how much effort goes into making them. So... I want to encourage you to please follow his channel and subscribe, as well as others that you like. Show him some love, okay? It's a good thing because we all do work hard doing this, and it's something that we, you know, oftentimes don't get paid very much, if anything, for. So please do that for your new year if you can. All right, your second trivia question. Let's get to it. Here it is. What does MOSFET stand for? All right. Is it a MU-operated semiconducting field effect transistor? Is it B, a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor? Is it C, metal on silicon Faraday effect transducer? Or D, a memory-operated semiconductor field effect transistor? What does MOSFET stand for? Here's what it looks like. If you're looking like a schematic of it, right? You see the, the drain and the gate. You see the source and how it works, right? So what is it? Is it A, B, C, or D? Please hit me up with A, B, C, or D, and we'll let you know who gets it right. By goodness, we have our fifth continent, Glenn Stevenson from Australia. Mate, Happy New Year, Glenn. Happy New Year. Seriously, Glenn. It's good to see you. I hope your dad is well and your family as well. I know you've got a lot going on. So happy new year, mate. Good to see you as well. And happy new year to you and yours. All right, let's get back to the question. What does MOSFET stand for? 
Is it A, a mu-operated semiconductor field effect transistor? B, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor? C, metal on silicon Faraday effect transducer? Or D, a memory-operated semiconductor field effect transistor? I need a drink of water after that one. A, B, C, or D, let me know. Also, welcome to Ron Wolensky, not whisk. So, oh my gosh, there's so many people. Thank you for sending him, dude. This is so nice of you. November 9, Whiskey Charlie Romeo. Welcome to Ham Radio Live. It's an honor. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. Cliff Bolts, first one from the state of Virginia, Whiskey Delta 4, Oscar Bravo Papa says it is B, a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. He would be 100% right. That's good. Thank you. It is. Yeah, this is a MOSFET. So a MOSFET really helps us in ham radio because it allows you to do things like increase your, your power if you're amplifying or you want to increase any sort of power. The, t- the work that tubes used to do, transistors helped to change. Things got smaller. I still miss the glow of tubes, though. Don't you? A little bit for people that like the the tube stuff. Mike had D. Glenn had D. Andy had B. Plasma Storm, Kilo Yankee 4. India Foxtrot had D. Swordfish Radio in Great Britain had D. Andy had B. Aaron had D. Uh, Martin in the Netherlands, yeah. Night Shift Guy had B. Uh, Colin in the UK had B. Plasma Storm was cracked with B. We've got uh, Ham Radio Alaska. Just subscribe. Bless your heart. Thank you. What a day. Wow, I've never had a day like this on YouTube. Thank you, guys. Seriously, you've just made my whole day. I mean that sincerely. Thank you. Um, Let's see. Mike in New York had B. And thank you all for being here. Berg's in Sweden. Larry, you're in your prime today. This is just an amazing day. Thank you, Berg's from Sweden. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. All right. We're going to go all the way to Eastern Europe. This is the shack of Tom Pollard. His call sign is... He has two. One of them is in the U.S. It's Alpha Echo 1 Tango Papa. He also has one in Bahrain. Now, he's one of only like eight HF ham radio operators within Bahrain. His call sign there, Alpha 92 Golf Whiskey. He's going to show us how the MFJ 464, which is a, it's a CW reader and decoder, and you use it in a way that what you do is you take on the back, you plug a keyboard into it, you hook it up to your radio so it will receive CW, then you hook a keyboard up to it, and whatever you type, it will send out. Let's find out how it works. This is Tom, Alpha Echo 1, Tango Papa, showing us how the MFJ 464 works for him in Bulgaria. In just a moment, you'll hear Tom start typing on the keyboard and the 464 start sending. He's using a Yesu FTDX 3000 to receive and transmit. Thank you, dude. You made my day, dude. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Happy New Year, mate. Have a wonderful evening and be safe. Just a moment, you're going to hear Tom start to type on his keyboard and the 464 start to send what he Getting is typing. As well.
That's it. Tom, one of his very first CW QSOs. Pretty cool. The 464 can be purchased for about $270 plus tax here in the U.S. Pretty easily obtainable. The main things, just make sure you hook it up on the back to your radio so that it can receive everything and make sure you have a comparable keyboard so it will go into the keyboard jack right here. Once you hook that up, you simply start receiving Morse code and you send it out. It's a fantastic product. Looked like worked very well for Tom. And it's a good way to learn Morse code. For people who don't and maybe want to, you know, make some calls in CW. That's a great workaround while you learn Morse code. All right, we're going to close the show. I am beyond honored for the people who came. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. And Happy New Year to you and yours. I hope wherever you may be in this world that you have a very good and healthy New Year. We've all had enough of this. I know we have. Let's hope 2022 is the year that finally wipes the slate clean and lets us go back to normal. This sign-off is something, and we play TV sign-offs at the end of every show to honor broadcasting. Remember at the end of the day when they would, you know, do the national anthem and then they would sign off the air. Well, this one is special and it's played for today for a reason. We have a viewer that watches the channel. He's a wonderful friend. His name is um, Kel Yorstead, call sign Lima Bravo Zero Yankee India. And Kel told me, hey, wait a minute. That's what they play. They used to play every time New Year's Eve would come on and the station would go off the air. So this sign off was special to Norway and it only was played this single night of the year. Wherever you may be around this world, God bless you. Thank you for watching today's show. It has been such an honor and a great surprise to me. Thank you for watching. God bless you, and goodbye, everybody. Wherever you may be around this world, I can't describe how wonderful it feels to have done this show. Thank you for watching Ham Radio Live. Goodbye, everybody.